Hello again, it's Trevor at Gongs Unlimited, and we've got another comparison video for you. This time, we're comparing big golly hess mallets. That's right, we're talking about big boys, big hogs, big mallets for big gongs, and everything in between. So, what are some of the more common Ollie Hess mallets that we have on our website, some of the large boys? Well, let's just get right into it. Now, I would recommend watching the counterpart to this video as well, the small Ollie Hess mallet comparison, unless you're just looking for big mallets and, you know, this, you've come to the right place. But this mallet, the Light 200, this is a crossover. That's right, crossover episode, people. This was featured in both videos because... The Light 200, even though it's marketed for 20 inch and above gongs, you know, 30 to 40 inches is above 20 inches. And we find that this mallet sounds really interesting and unique on bigger gongs. You know, it's uh, a good way to bring out some of the complex tones without like blowing the room away. If you're not trying to get super loud, this can still get you some pretty intricate sounds without a. Uh, going over too much of a volume limit if you're trying to play like a 32 inch gong in an apartment building or something. This would be a good option for you. This is available at gongsunlimited.com. There's also a light 100, which they sound pretty good as rollers, honestly, on the bigger gongs, but in this video, we're really just gonna be exploring the light 200 out of that series. Uh, moving on, we've got the M305 medium large, Ollie Hess mallet. Now this is a newer one. We've got this one, uh, I don't know how many months ago. We'll say like six months ago, we got these in stock and they're really similar to the Ollie Hess L355. And only this is 50 grams lighter and the stick is about two and a half inches shorter. For reference, this is the L355 and this is the M305. So they're pretty much the same exact size head but this one, the stick's just a little bit thinner on the 305 and the uh, handle's a little bit shorter. So it kind of comes down to the like the similarities between the M174 and the S186. The M174 is basically the same mallet, but the stick's just a little bit shorter. So it comes down to how you want to attack the gong, if you want a bit slower of a swing, or if you want, you know, a little more abrupt. I personally like the short sticks. I like the short handled ones as like a single mallet. If you're going to be rolling, I like the long handled mallets, but they both work great for either purpose. It really just comes down to stick feel. The M305 is great on 28 inch gongs and above, and uh, I find it performs really well between like 28 and 40 inches. It sounds pretty nice. It sounds real nice. Moving on, this L355, which we briefly just talked about. This is the large, so the M305 is medium large. The L355 is large. I know, makes sense. The L for large, M for medium, the number corresponds with the grams that the mallet weighs at, so it's all very scientific, very German. This is a very similar to an M4 or an M5 Piesty mallet. It's about roughly the same size, same uh, head, but the head's just a little bit softer, the stick's a little bit bigger, and they've got these tapered ends on them, so if you, your stick slips, you can feel that end. And I love the beveled end on these. I think it's a really nice touch in the wood. It just makes it feel a little more human. L355, again, great on 28-inch gongs and above, and... Uh, Moving on, this is the L460, so you guessed it, this is the uh, extra large, and this is closer to the M6, the Capaisty M6 for size comparison. It's a uh, slightly bigger, it's got a four by four inch head on it, so it's just a little bit bigger than the uh, L355, a little bit thicker, about like a half inch maybe. And it's got a little bit more bass to it, a little bit more immediate of a bass response with the L460s. And uh, this, personally, is one of my favorite Ollie Hess mallets. I like the L460s a lot on like a, like a 34 to 40 inch Chinese gong. These will blow the pants off of anybody, even if you're not wearing pants. This mallet will put pants on you just to blow them off of you. Moving on, this is the heaviest and the thickest Ollie Hess mallet that we offer. 
It's similar in size and stick length to the L460, and it doesn't look like it would be that much different, but I can assure you this mallet with its thicker stick and slightly heavier head, it's about twice as heavy as the L460. So, you know, 460 grams versus 815 grams. So this mallet is amazing for getting just the deep root notes out of your gongs, getting that big fundamental note. I don't know, like a 38 inch heisty gong or a 40 inch Chinese gong, really any large gong, this is gonna just immediately draw out that big bassy fundamental tone that's lurking underneath. This is great for 38 inch gongs and above. The head is about four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter, so just slightly bigger than the L460, but the weight is really what makes a difference on this one. So, well, we've talked about all these beauties, but really, meat potatoes of this is gonna be how they sound. So we're gonna get right into that and we're gonna play some gongs for you, play some gongs that we picked out and uh, hopefully this information will be helpful to help you pick out what Ollie Hess Mallet is going to join your arsenal. Roll it!
All right, that was something. I personally had a really good time recording these gongs. They all sounded amazing, and the spectrum of sound that you can get with these Holly Hess mallets is honestly something else. For a bunch of mallets, if you just eyeball on them, they all look kind of similar. You know, the different weights, stick lengths, and uh, head sizes really do change the types of sounds you're going to get out of these gongs and the volumes. They're starting with the light mallet, building up for the mediums, and ending with that big 815 is a, a really cool way to just get as much sound out of your big gong as possible. Any of these larger mallets would work great as rollers. I <laughs> Maybe all of them. I don't know if the 815s would be the best to use as rollers just because they're so heavy that, you know, you'd be just rolling right up to an immediately very large crash. But if that's something you're into, you know, I could see two 815s working astoundingly as rollers on maybe a 44 or 52 inch Chinese gong. I bet that could sound pretty crazy. Well, at the end of the day, it really just all comes down to personal preference. What do you think sounds the best? And uh, what tool do you think will be best for you? And uh, the ways you're trying to use your gong, what volumes you're trying to play it at, who you're trying to play it for. Thank you again for checking this video out. And again, be sure to check out the counterpart for smaller Ollie Hess mallets and get to know those little babies as well. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some mallets to take pictures of. Ah, that was good.